Atomic Habits has helped so many people get productive and start hustling, but what if you wanted to use it to do the opposite? What if you're overwhelmed and you need to take things off your mental to-do list instead? In this video I'm going to give you five ways to apply James Clear's Atomic Habits to slow down and to have better work-life balance and to get rid of all the should-dos and have-dos. If you want better work-life balance or better boundaries with your job or if you like this video and you want to see more like it, you can hit the subscribe button in the corner anytime during this video. So I'm all about efficiency, I'm all about productivity, but I am equally obsessed with designing my life in a way where I get to have slow mornings where I enjoy my coffee in the sunshine. And this doesn't just happen. And that's where we're going to hack atomic habits to reduce the overwhelm and to take back control of your time. All of these tips are about giving yourself more time in the day. It's about reclaiming rest and reducing mental clutter so that you have the space to have better work-life balance. Habit number one is brain dumping. This is super simple. You just take a piece of paper and you write down everything that is floating around in your mind. Brain dumping is super effective for setting habits and mentally decluttering. You have so much hanging around in your brain that just doesn't need to be there. And when this happens, you feel like you're behind all the time because you've always got something on your to-do list that you should do, need to do, feel like you should do, feel guilty for not doing. So you write it all down, you get it all out of your mind. And then what I like to do is to cross out anything that's not a today problem. Brain dumping is a great habit to set for work-life balance because we really struggle to rest when we feel like there's still so much more that we could be doing. Atomic habit hack number two is to reset the room. Basically, when you go to bed, uh, whenever you leave a room, make it a habit to give everything a quick scan and clear the surfaces, maybe pick something up off the floor. This is a super simple habit that automatically gives you more time to enjoy your rest because when you come into a room, it's already ready for you. Atomic habit number three for work-life balance is to hack your systems, not your goals. Goals are great. Goals give you a direction. However, often when we reach our goal, it doesn't actually make us as happy as we thought it would. And this is called destination fallacy. So for work-life balance, that means instead of saying, when I reach a certain point in my career, then I'll take more breaks, then I'll prioritize rest. Atomic habits say, what systems do I need in place to have that life now, to have a life where I come first. Examples of systems you could set up for work-life balance is things like turning off notifications on your phone, waking up earlier so that you can have a slow morning before work, setting up an automatic email response that lets people know that you need at least a day to respond, checking in with your body when you're stressed, Things like taking breaks at work no matter what. In the words of James Clear, who wrote Atomic Habits, you get what you repeat. So instead of waiting for a goal, like I'm at a certain point in my career, set the systems now. I wanna know in the comments, have you read Atomic Habits by James Clear? Did you like it? What did you think of it? What other books do I need to put on my personal development reading list? Let me know in the comments below. Habit upgrade number four is to question what's working. James Clear says that often we just keep doing things the way that we've already done them without questioning whether we actually want it or whether it's actually working for us. It's kind of like that saying like just because you can do it doesn't mean that you should. So I want you to get a piece of paper and ask yourself, what is it in my daily schedule that isn't actually working for me or that I hate doing every day? 
This could be things like long commutes, email notifications on your phone, answering client calls even though you're done for the day, working out straight after work, doing cleaning when you should be getting somebody to help you with it. To help with this, I do have a free resource called the Energy Equation Exercise, which is linked below, and this will help you figure out what's draining you, what's lighting you up, and where you need to set boundaries at work. Atomic upgrade number five is to know what you want your life to look like. I go through this with people pretty much on a daily basis. They're like, oh, I'd love to do that, but I can't. Like, oh, I would love to work less hours. Oh, I'd love to work for myself. Oh, I would love to only work part time. I would love to say no to my job. Oh, I'd love to switch careers, but I can't. Insert reason here. Actually, you can. That's the secret here. You actually can plan your days however you want. You can have slow mornings and never look at your emails after 5 p.m. And it starts with setting little habits that support this life. If you want slow mornings, set the habit of getting up a little earlier so you don't have to rush. If you want to spend more time with your partner, set the habit of closing your laptop at 5 p.m. no matter what. You need to make work-life balance an integral part of how you run your daily life. Make it the default. Make it easy to have work-life balance by setting little habits. Remember, this is your life. Figure out how you want it to look and then set habits and systems that make it the default. Do you wish that you had more fun in your life outside of work? You need to make sure you watch this video on how to do that next. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Don't forget that you can like and subscribe down below if you want more content on work-life balance and setting boundaries at work so that you can put yourself first unapologetically. Bye.